Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about someone that we haven't talked about here on the channel before, and that is I am Alex. Now, I just want to say before we get started, I know I've been gone for a little bit, and that's simply due to the release of Destiny's news. I've been grinding my heart out, getting new gameplay for the videos, and doing some other stuff here and there. So if you haven't seen me for a while, that's pretty much where I've been. But we're locking in this summer, and if you want to be a part of the ride, you can. All you have to do is just subscribe. It helps out more than you know, especially because we're about to hit 4,000 subscribers here, but that's enough of begging for subscribers. Let's actually get into the video. So I'm Alex is a person that, like I said before, it's our first time talking about him here on the channel, so I wouldn't be surprised if you guys don't know who he is. I low-key forgot about this person and him even existing, especially because I haven't really heard about him or anything that he's done within the past like three or so years. I remember watching a Diesel Patches video with him covering how he doesn't like him and some of the stuff that he's weaseled himself out of, and it's my understanding that generally people don't like him because he's a huge snake to his friends like for one quick example there was this one guy named zapti i think his channel is deleted by now and this was years ago guys keep in mind who was outed publicly as a geppetto alex was also friends with him and apparently he was the one who was leading the kind of crusade against him which you know that's not a bad thing to do by any means if you know a pdf file i mean you, you gotta expose them man they're gonna start hurting kids of course it would be all well and good if that was the only thing that happened and if it didn't come out that the girl that zapti was talking to lied about her age and that being confirmed with dms and then alex returned turning with a half-assed apology and not really owning up to his mistakes himself. There was also a similar situation with Slizo, where Alex just kind of didn't give his friend the benefit of the doubt and jumped to the conclusion before any new evidence could come out or before the person in question could even defend themselves. So for my people out there who are scrolling Twitter and confused as to why people hate Alex so much besides the stuff that's going on currently, I'd guess that this is why. Maybe this is a bit of the reason why. Maybe there's something else that I'm not covering. But other than that, I mean, the guy just looks like a straight up tweaker. Like this absolutely no way you can look at this picture right here and tell me with a straight face that he's not on some sort of bath salt however the current situation that's going on right now is probably going to be the worst thing that we've seen from alex thus far earlier this morning alex's ex-girlfriend alice came out with an 82 page google doc that had an attachment that read here's my statement on the situation i've been scared to speak out on it's best it was made public with how horrible this person was and i'd hate to see another woman go through this so of course when you open it up the first page opens up with a trigger warning there's mentions of SA, depression, and assault. And the beginning reads, this is a sensitive subject for me as I've struggled to figure out how to put it into words. I've been threatened by Alex not to come out with anything or else he would make a contradicting story to discredit my own, but I'm not scared anymore. No matter what's said in response to this statement, I know I can move on with my life because I've said my piece. I made this document as a compilation of my experiences whilst being with Alex and I've put screenshots of those accounts under the corresponding paragraphs. This will be a long one, so I'll start from the beginning so you can understand the full story and how much of a heavy burden this has bit on me. We had known each other for years before we interacted and we were seeing each other for a few months before anything was official. We officially started dating on March 17th, 2023, giving each other 100% of our time, attention, and effort with absolutely no arguments. After that, time passed and small things became huge issues over Discord at first. Alex felt that because I was home all day that I could be on call 24-7 and completely shut out other social interactions I had with my friends. To avoid that, I invited him to other groups and stopped working as much. These are arguments worsened to the point where he would shut off his camera and start shouting at me on call. He's even gone as far as to tell me to self-harm even after knowing my past. This would be accompanied with multiple horrible messages calling me whore, a bitch, and slimy. He would also tell me that I would cause arguments as an excuse for me to leave him, saying I don't know how I ended up with someone like you. Now if you had just read that opening statement without seeing any of the other stuff that we're going to cover in this video, then obviously you would just genuinely think that this guy is an asshole, especially after knowing the stuff that we covered prior. But of course there's more to this story like Alice said in the beginning statement and I have some of the videos here on my phone and I'm going to try to put them in the video but I don't know if I can show the rest of the stuff that's in the Google document because it won't let me download it for whatever reason Google Docs is kind of weird with that stuff and for whatever reason there's a limit to how many people can view or download the content that's in the file so if you're looking for specific videos then you're just going to have to see the Google Doc for yourself but what everybody has access to are the 82 pages which include a bunch of text messages and paragraphs that explain the context and here are those messages right now after screaming at me in calls and disregarding everything i've ever said he would explain how it was always my fault and that i should apologize 
that I should be the one to fix it and fight for him after he made it worse by completely dehumanizing me and degrading me. I would get breakup threats because I would interact with my followers tweets, which I would then apologize for after he made it very clear it upset him, but he demands more from me. This would be followed up by him continuing to call me a bitch and threatening, quote, I'm going to refollow everyone I unfollowed for you if you're going to be like that. Which by the way, I found later on that he was still interacting with many people that he had in his old relations and found him stalking his ex with her old nudes in his phone. And of course here are the text messages that kind of prove what she's saying. And I'm not gonna lie, bro, like I get that you might still be attached to a certain person, but if you're in a whole other relationship, having the nudes of your ex in your phone is absolutely absurd. Like that might be some B tier gooner shit right there. Anyways, Alice continues in the thread and says that I'm going to link the horrible messages that he's been sending to me. They consist of him calling me unlovable, whore, psycho, constantly calling me sick, telling me that he doesn't want to be with me, breaks up with me and then takes it back. Then after all of the arguments, he apologizes and love bombs me for forgiveness. For context in regards to me, I have depression and he's made it severely worse, especially with the way he would insult me and make me feel like he doesn't care or love me. I found it hard to stay happy every day dating someone who would say these things so easily to me, feeling no remorse or guilt. He just flew past the days like nothing ever happened. This was immensely draining on my side. I don't know if this was a me thing, so I've been scared to talk about this because I've been worried that people wouldn't understand me. People will question why I stayed with him to begin with and believe me, I wish I could turn back time, but I believed his lies and he apologized to me and I really tried to believe that he would stop going so far if I asked him to. I thought it was good enough for him to stop calling me a whore or to tell me that I should die or threaten to leave me in every argument. Now of course here are some of the messages from that compilation. One of them says, I admitted to what I did. I'm going to kill you, he says. Said sorry for my tone. That's not abusive at all. He says, I'm going to break your neck. And of course, here's some more of that KYS action. Alice also included some Discord messages within this whole thread. Now, in these couple of messages that I'm going to read, she didn't really include any context, but they might have been talking about a game. And if so, I mean, what the fuck, bro? Here he says, didn't accept to it, no, okay, F off then, die, you didn't let me talk, die, wow, die, die, you're just making it up as you go, yes I am, all lies, sorry Alex, you don't have any grip on this, sorry I said to leave the game, Good night, stupid woman, I don't want you, go away, I want to be alone, I don't have the energy, I said what bit, you clearly have, you win, the bit where you sold me to KMS, the bit where you said you didn't want me, the bit where you called me a dumb whore, what bit, boring, I quit, you win this, I said thanks, F off, I said thanks, suck yourself, you're a difficult little bitch, and you're a bad C word that would get me demonetized, maybe you should have shut your effing mouth, thanks for apologizing, no I'm good, I didn't mean it, you're wicked. Now, I don't really know what this is about, like I said before, she didn't really give too much context on these couple of messages. However, I will say that there's not much you can give context to to kind of excuse this. And like I just read, there was some mention of some game, so this could have been over that. And of course, I could be wrong, but with the clips that are circling around Drama Alert and all these other Twitter accounts, would it really be surprising if this entire thread was a result of Alice telling Alex to get off the game for the night? Like I said, bro, he's a great A tweaker. By the way, here's two of the clips that I was talking about were circling around Twitter, and actually, these are some of the clips that were included in the dock itself like i said before i mean i can't really get the entire thing and get all of those videos in there for you just because of the restriction that google docs has for whatever reason but here they are right now massive issues there oh and you God. think you can you think you can just fucking ignore them because like well, what's the worst that can happen um i don't know uh, your boyfriend's a fucking famous internet celebrity and doesn't trust these people because he has to keep his circle small because you might not have anything to fucking lose because your life might be down the fucking drain but i still have quite a lot that i would like to fucking give uh you're making it incredibly fucking hard for me just like lewis did yeah i fucking hate all of you you guys are fucking like like i can't make any videos of paul breach so i'm a fucking whore mouth bitch retard cunt is it generally because you're just fucking brain dead yeah, I'm very brain dead, yeah. Is that why you decided to go on the fucking offensive instead of the, the uh, maybe... Offensive. Okay. I don't, know, I don't know what to call what you did. It was weird. It's always weird. You always take the fucking weird route. Just do the normal route, which is... Just do the normal route, but a normal girlfriend yeah, would do like I didn't, I didn't mean it. just me, and that's something you really need to fucking fix. I'm gonna fucking bash your fucking head against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the fuck up. You, because this one, genuinely, this one, this one, you, you fucked this royally. Okay. Fucked this. He's also said the N word, uh, which a lot of people are making like a big deal about. I, I don't know why I included that in there. I just thought I'd throw it in compared to everything else that he's said already. I mean, this it's kind of like okay, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, what else you got? 
type of thing, you know? However, this last part I do want to cover because if all of this stuff hasn't already cemented to you that I'm Alex is a terrible person, this probably will. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I mean, he's not going to weasel his way out of this one. Not like he has in the past with other controversies that he's been in. But this next threat starts out with Alex explaining work-related arguments. And she says, work-related arguments would be weekly, nearly daily if I showed signs of being sad over something he said to me. You should be effing grateful that someone with the kind of expertise I have tried to talk to you about something like that. This was him talking about whether I wanted to stream or do YouTube videos. If the conversation didn't go his way or I said I didn't want to do certain thing, he would blow up at me and get upset because I wouldn't do it his way. Then he would continue to belittle me. I would always tell him that I'm not with him for work talk. I don't care how much you help me if all this will do is cause arguments. I don't care how successful I can be. He pushed it on me to make videos with his knowledge when all I wanted was a boyfriend. I only ever wanted something personal and genuine and I never got that. Alex would tell me that he meant everything that he said but then he would tell me after he didn't mean it and that he had to calm down. He told me to shut up and to KMS after I told him that it was a dream of mine to expand into other platforms. He's called me the n-word after I've said sorry about the situation. I said sorry for telling him my goals and dreams and he belittled me trying to take control of what I wanted to do. When I got sad he got angry and quote you could have listened to a master plan for free. It was only to die constantly told me that he didn't want me and he could easily replace me. At this point in time I have broken down to his level. I end up calling him what he is and I lose all sense of reality because how can this be real? This can't be real. He can't mean any of this and still love by me and stay with me, right? At this point, I'm also scared of starting any arguments, so I say sorry excessively. After telling me he isn't mad at me anymore, he ends up telling me that we are over and we're starting over again. Again, other arguments about content creation. He goes, it's easy just sit there like everyone else and cry about it when you're a jobless freak. Imagine trying to teach retards like you and my mates how to do this. I would reply by explaining how rude he was and I got offended. He goes on to say that N-words, that's the truth and KY. Yes, I just told you how to make six figures, so F off. I told him how I don't think I'm good enough to do this, and he would just insult me more. Now, like, I'm gonna end things off with a quick little saying. For those of you who have been here on the channel, you'll know what I'm talking about, but for those of you who are new here, I have this little saying that pretty much comes up in a lot of my videos, and that is, not everyone has to be famous. I, I don't understand why people get a platform and just absolutely decide to crush it with their egos or with other PDF stuff. It's honestly ridiculous, man, and judging by the content that I have seen on this channel from, like, old videos and stuff like that, I, I don't understand how anybody ever found this guy funny. I of that this guy just ruined a perfect relationship man i don't know how many content creators out there watching this but i can tell you that it would be awesome to have a girlfriend who was into content creation like me like just imagine the setting where you're just chasing the bag with your girl just trying to make it and you're both into the same stuff right and you're both reviewing each other's videos which you like and what you don't like about it right and giving each other tips and stuff like that like that would be so cool and this guy ruined it bro like holy shit what a dumbass and i'm not gonna lie man right I, i'm gonna say what a lot of people have been thinking i don't know if you who are watching this have been thinking this the whole time but damn this blows shovel's opening statement and accusation out of the water completely she came with 82 pages of fucking proof bro <laughs> like this is what we want to see when you're going to accuse somebody have that shit backed up. Now, obviously, we didn't cover everything in those 82 pages. There's still a shit ton left, but I'm not gonna sit here for an hour and a half and just read over just different text messages and all this other context and stuff. I'm gonna leave that up to you. I'm just covering the points that I found interesting. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Be sure to hit that like rating, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Sub up, stay safe, and peace.